Welcome back, everybody, to another State of Decay 2 speedrun. This one is on Lethal on Trumbull Valley. I did this one live on stream. If you want to watch me, I started streaming a couple weeks ago on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Randhothcord, same as my YouTube. I'll put the link in the description if you want to watch me live. Uh, I think that's it. Let's just hop right into it. Maybe I should do a little bit of looting, try to get... Come on. Maybe I should do a little bit of looting just so I can try to get... Uh... A heavy weapon at that barn. Um, because a heavy weapon would actually make that take so much less time. Uh, no boons, random survivors. We need a trader. We have two elbow and Zari. Uh, we also have a medic, medicine person, so that's really good. Um, a medicine person will let you uh, use the radio call to heal. So that's why we want that. Um, and we have to come down here and get gas right away. We want to be careful about aggroing um, a feral and also aggroing a horde that spawn just kind of randomly in this area. So let's be on the lookout for that. Here they come. Boring. Oh, that's just a regular one single zombie's fine. Or two, three single zombies. Three single zombies is fine, but there is a horde somewhere nearby. So you just want to kind of get to the gas can, get back to your car as soon as possible. Fighting a feral or a horde without a car is much, much, much harder uh, than fighting either one with a car. Come on, get in. Actually, you didn't really need to get in. It didn't matter, but whatever. Before you get out here, you want to make sure to keep an eye out for either of those um, nearby you, so you can just use the car to kill the Pharaoh or the Horde, um, rather than getting out and then having to get back in to kill. Come on, claim. Okay. Pretty good time there. I need to play as... Elbow, sure. Um, so we need that and we could we don't need anything else actually let's take her stamina item what was that heavy weapon not heavy what was that melee weapon I meant to say uh, we want to check the trunk we didn't get anything good there so we're going to do a little bit of looting before we kill the heart um there's a shed over here which is often occupied by the first um Enclave that comes by, but the Enclave isn't Ooh, here yet. I'm getting there. Cool shit. Fortunately, there's two zombies here. Not that that's terribly difficult, but it just takes a little bit of extra time. Okay, so, well, come on. You might get a little bit of extra gas. No, no luck. And I don't think that uh, that would have anything that's helpful. Where'd my car go? I guess I usually park on the other side. Come on. Um, okay, so let's... We got this, um... Shoot. Let's head home first. That was, that was like 30 seconds wasted. Not 30 seconds. That was a couple of seconds wasted there. Should have just gone home immediately. I think it's better. Although it's close... I'm glad we've already got a start on building this base up into something I'm just being really slow with the menuing today, so... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. I'm just, just stating it that I'm being really slow with my uh, mouse pointer. Maybe a little bit of adrenaline or something? Like, just making me fidget a little bit? I don't know. Whoops. Come on. This will be the first heart, of course, and it's just not going to be too difficult. Uh, not a ton of zombies come running because you're so low on standing. Please don't yell, though. Uh, doorways like that are very dangerous for zombies. If you grab a zombie in a doorway or throw the zombie into a door, it's very likely they'll just immediately die. So it's just something to be aware of, especially if you're trying to grab and throw a zombie. That if you're standing in a doorway, the zombie will actually kind of 
shatter in front of you, like shatter in your arms rather than be able to be thrown. Oh, that didn't work at all, but it actually worked out. But you can see the zombies kind of shattering there as I was saying. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, so you regain stamina slightly faster when you're crouched, so that's why I crouched there. And also, you, you wouldn't necessarily think it, but even just closing a door gives you so much time. Like, I was over next to the door, so it didn't even co it probably maybe cost me half a second to close the door. Because I had to, like, think about it and, and walk over to it, you know, make sure I did it, that sort of thing. But maybe half a second of time to close the door, but it gained me like 15 seconds of time. Really good early on. Um, this cloud is going to be here for a while. I don't know exactly how long it lasts, but um, I wish it was a little bit more visible when there was a cloud there, honestly. Let's get a few more hits in and then take care of the zombies. No. Well, that that zombie that I threw didn't didn't fall over, so I got hit by that. That's there we go. Okay, uh, let's close the door again while I wait for my stamina to come back. We should be able to finish this off right now. And then loot it. Hopefully we get a heavy weapon. Check. That's how we take back our town. Uh, don't need that, don't need that. Take that. Um, I'll take the ammo, I suppose. It doesn't... It's not really needed, but it's a little... helpful. Okay, so we're gonna... go to... Ooh, okay. <laughs> Wasn't making it through that very easily. Uh, we're gonna go do this Cure for All mission. That will give us uh, some fuel, another gas can, and it will also give us Molotovs, because we'll break open the rucksack. Um, where are they? Hello. With these plagues down, um, I, can make I don't know why I did that. Uh, it's Let's just refuel right now so we don't even need the inventory slot. But also it will make the story mission starts spawning okay on the map. So Tressie is now available on the map. Um, I don't know why I threw that in there. I'm still de-rusting a little bit. I forgot to split when I killed that heart. Speaking of de-rusting, um, I'll have to come back and so try to for get the right time later after I finish the run. That's fine. The, the most important thing, or Really, the only important thing is the total time. So we're going to come down here and uh, get Tressie to start following us. On the way, though, we do want to try to scout out, see if we can find any hearts. Really? Um, because it is actually... Uh, I find that Marshall is so dense that even if you have a pretty good idea where hearts are, um, it can actually take, like, a good 20, 30 seconds to find the exact place that a heart actually is. Like, even if you have it narr narrowed down to, like, a couple blocks, um, like, a couple blocks, like, even, like, four, a four block square is, like, you know, five, six, seven houses. So, uh, pulling up to the right place can take a little bit. Um... So just as you're driving through, I like to drive a little bit slowly, uh, try to uh, get as much information as possible so that I can figure out I don't have to do it later, basically. Like, I'm already there. It cost me a few seconds to drive slowly through the town, of course, but um, in the end, I think it saves time because I don't have to drive back through there slowly. Hopefully I can get to Tressy before too much noise happens. I find that often there's like a screamer in here for some reason. One time there was a screamer and a feral, and it was just... 
I restarted the run. <laughs> I had to restart the run because this That's good. it ended up being a horde Very and then a pharaoh tackled me while I was dealing with that. But now I have her following me. I'm going to do a little bit of looting here. There's always a, a repair kit, uh, or two repair kits, and rucksack. Um, so there's actually like some, some decent stuff here. And she can take care of that just fine. Uh, there's a, the repair kits must be um, over here somewhere. Oh, the, there's this. I was like, where's the second one? But there's a flashing place right here. Yeah, there's always two repair kits, and I think maybe always a gas can as well, but also the fuel rucksack. Uh, okay, so we need to start looking for hearts, and we have Tressie here to be our bodyguard. She uh, is unkillable. It will, she will act like she's about to die, but she will never actually die. Oh, uh, there's a bloater there we need to be... Whoa, be careful of. Caught the curb there a little bit. One thing you do need to be aware of is uh, she wants to go to the courthouse, which is on the kind of near where I picked her up. Uh, if you don't know where the courthouse is, it's where the orange tag is, but... Oh, this is a heart. Um, you do not want to go there with her. Uh, it'll cost you, like, 20 seconds or something, 30 seconds, because she wants to sit there and talk about things. Um, so this is a new discovery by, or that I found out about from Arvid. I think he found out from one of his viewers, but you can animation cancel with any weapon. Um, let's jump away from that. Uh, if you, when you swing, you wait for the hit, and then you tap crouch, and then you tap Oh, sorry, you, you, you wait for the hit, then you tap dodge, then you tap crouch. Uh, please hit the heart. Uh, and you swing really quickly. Let's try to lure some more zombies over towards Tressie because she is our bodyguard. I don't know where Tressie went. Is she inside? She's inside the room with the heart where I, I want to pull zombies away from, of course. Um, but she is a great bodyguard. Hopefully the the cloud will be gone. She's actually took care of so many zombies that she was shooting the heart itself, I think. Right there at the end. Okay, let's loot this real quick, see if there's anything we can grab that's good. Stamina items are great, oh, health heavy. is great, and an extra... Let's, let's might as well heal while we're here. Um, and an extra heavy weapon is also great, so we don't um, run out later. Um, okay, there's probably... There's often a... Um, oh, she's getting in my car so quickly, too. She is really on top of her game today. Um... There's often a heart either in the gas station or over here. No, not there. I was going to say often right there because... I don't know. Often there is a heart there, I guess. Uh, not today, though. Um, so we need to come back through. See if we can find this heart. Uh, two bloaters right there. Um, so we need to be careful about that. Uh, she can take care of that. I don't need. I don't need to take care of that. So where is this heart over here? Just trying to scroll through and find my energy drink. I could not find it. The interesting thing about this heart is if you're right up against the heart, they have trouble. Zombies have trouble getting through the door to you. Uh, it's like they are trying to walk towards you, but they don't realize they need to walk kind of away from you in a way. Like, to go through the door. Um, so if you really hug this part, it's a little easier. Uh, she's taking care of the Screamer, all that horde, the bloaters. Uh, looks like there's a feral in... Oh, no, I think maybe that was her rolling. Please don't come in here. I guess I need to be careful about crouching. Of course, when you crouch, your follower uh, will run towards your... Yeah, your follower... Don't you dare. I was, I was trying to not use this uh, stamina item, but I really didn't need to either. I had one more hit. Darn it. I'm trying to save that stamina item. 
Uh, so it looks like Tracy's about to go down. Well, she's, she's on the ground crying or whatever. Uh, she's not actually in any trouble, so don't worry about her. Um, I'm gonna drop the healing. And that should be good. And let's not run through the horde. Okay, so there's another heart probably on the next block. Just slightly to the south. Take that waypoint off because it's going to confuse me, but... Somewhere right around here is a heart. There's an alley right here. Yeah, let's just drive on the alley. Yep, there's the heart. Uh, this fence is all bar... Ah, this fence is all barbed wire, so let's do that. You can actually... Free, this is a free heart. What am I doing? So if you pull your car all the way in here, then jump up on top of the car, you can get yourself stuck. Okay. What actually I mean to happen is if you walk right here, you can attack the heart with no issue. And I'm gonna I'm gonna use the stamina item if it'll use. Why is it not using the what the heck? Okay, there we go. Finally. Wasn't using the stamina item there for some reason. And then when it parts, you back up a little bit. Tracy can take care of the bloaters and the feral, that's fine. You don't need to do that. It's hard to tell exactly when the cloud dissipates because it still damages you. Attack attack the heart, please. Um, it still damages you even after the what I think of as the fully visible cloud uh, dissipates, but I'm trying to look kind of right there. There's like a red cloud and see when that fully disappears. But like it's, it's mostly gone, but it's not actually gone yet. I think I'll be damaged there. I'm going to try to save a stamina item here and just do that. Okay, um, I'm going to need to run around the, the place to... Um, get zombies away from my car. Can I not climb in here anywhere? I thought there was like one segment that was open. Maybe not. Huh, okay, well, I did a really long loop-de-loo. Loop -loo. Hopefully that pulls zombies away, although it isn't looking like it. I need to shoot that bloater so I don't hit him um, coming out. Around. Um, more explosives, uh, stamina items are great, healing. You can always use the stuck command to get out. Uh, that can be a little risky because it can just, like, warp you into a horde or something like that. Probably another, yep, I was gonna say another heart right up the street here. There's often a heart, you know, right around this corner. Um, we need to probably claim an outpost soon. We're running out of space and we're getting so much good stuff. No, that was a big bite. I really hate when the game does that. So I was trying to grab the zombie whose back was to me because that makes sense, but the game decided I wanted to... The game decided I actually wanted to, um, try to grab the zombie who was facing me. Attack the heart, please, game. Uh, decided I wanted to attack the, or grab the zombie that was facing me, and so I didn't, and then I was grabbed there, because he could easily attack me while I recovered from the failed grab. Um. Oh, I almost dodged right back into that. But Tracy is doing a great job of being my bodyguard, attracting all the attention out there. Um, so I can just sit here and wait for the cloud to dissipate. Even the feral's going after her. Okay, heal, take that, take that, take those. Perfect. Okay, we are. I did not want to know what makes play pretty clear. 
I don't know where Tressie ended up. You don't want to get too close to that courthouse or else... Oh, dodge these bloaters. You don't want to get too close to that warehouse because... Uh, or sorry, courthouse because she wants to go there. She'll sit there for like a minute of talking. You have to kill all the zombies. Which is, of course, a big problem when you've just... Uh, attacked a heart right next to it. Jump out the window, please. Jeez Louise. Fire in the hole. That sure left a mark. Gonna try to hit some of the zombies there. Cleared. Since she was a little bit away from me. Oh gosh. And I'm so close to getting uh, plagued. I really don't want to have to waste time dealing with the plague right now. Um, I'm headed home pretty shortly, in just like a heart or two, once I clear out Marshall. So, oh, I think it's still going. No, attack the heart, please. Um, so if I can just use my infirmary's uh, partial heal, that would be incredible. Um, so let's try to get to my car without too much trouble. There's still another plague heart claiming the area. Somewhere down here, maybe? Can I get through over here? Not really. This was not the way to go, but it's working out. Is one of these a heart? No. Where are we going? Let's check up the hill, I guess. There's definitely at least one plague heart up here, I believe. I don't see any infection or cloud above that house in the corner, or at that, on the end. Thank goodness. Okay, good. <laughs> it was kind of hard to tell. I wasn't 100%, but I, I believe that there was no... Catching the plague would really cramp my style. Almost out. Uh, cloud there. Please get out of there. What are you doing? So hopefully, if a flaming zombie runs into a heart that is not also on fire, it does massive damage to the heart. That's what I was trying to do there. Although I didn't do it successfully. Please get away from the heart, dude. That was a little... I took a little bit of extra damage there. That's okay. Just gotta have to wait a little bit for. Oh, that's a feral. Ooh. Come on, feral, come out here. Feral, please. Can I not hit my shots even? I can't hit my shots at all. What is going on? Well, that was annoying. Okay. Hopefully I can take out this heart. No, too much trouble. That cloud would kill me dead. I really want to kill this heart before leaving. It should be very close to dying. Quit doing that, though. Okay. We're gonna kill these zombies, then we're going to... Try to loot the heart, hopefully. Um, take that. 
Uh, drop that, I think. Okay, leave, 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 leave. We need to get in my car and leave. I need a break. Oh, there's still another... Okay, we're going to the shed. We have to make a cure. This place is a waste of time. Consider this outpost done. Come on, open up. More of that. Okay, we throw the gun, throw that gun in, throw that gun in, throw that in. Okay, let's loot this a little bit more thoroughly. You can see Tressie's still just covering everyone down there, or out there. Uh, a little bit of healing's not bad. Okay, sure. I say Tressie was dealing with them well, but she was not actually. Okay, let's take out this other heart. Where is Tressie? Is she in the car with me? Where is Tressie? Is she in the car? What? Where the heck did... I think we're gonna need to fix that. Was Tressie not at the heart even? Well, that was not supposed to happen. Okay, uh, I'm not sure where she ended up. Uh, let's repair this to give her time to get to me wherever she is. There's a bunch of stuff I scavenged. Somewhere there's a diamond, uh, the moving diamond coming towards me. I don't see it. I don't know where she ended. I don't know where she went. She must have warped across the map or something. Well, luckily, this is a pretty easy part. So I'll just kill it myself. Of course, the very first zombie r runs around the back of the... No, what a... Damn it. Okay, so I need to switch weapons here. Need to do a little bit of a loop-de-loop. Try to pull the zombies out of that room. As long as they're out of the room as I'm here, they try to walk up, they usually try to path to me through this desk. Like that, and it takes a really long time for them to get here. Hmm, this might be useful. Okay, we got some more fire. Hopefully, they're staying out here. I'm not sure what has happened to Tressie. No, don't dodge backwards. Where's my car, actually? I thought my car was at the other end. Okay. I, yeah, I don't know where Tressie is. Could you wait a second? Oh, she's close to me, at least. That means she's, uh, like, 75 meters away. Okay, she's coming up towards me. But Marshall is clear, so I'm going to go back to base. Switch characters. I believe this person was my, um... Trader leader? Or prospective leader? Bloater that I just barely avoided. Um, so I can leader this person, switch characters, and I should be fine to keep going. Okay, uh, almost a base. What broke down there? Nothing broke down. I don't know why it said stuff broke down, but 
Whatever, the game is weird sometimes. Make them last. Can I be any louder? So the reason why I collected a little bit of extra gas and ammo there is because um At the end for the trader finale, I plan to use landmines, outpost landmines to make it a lot easier, effectively. Um, and we'll switch that to there. Uh, we need fuel, we need, or we need, we need fuel, we need that, we need that. Let's grab fire, we'll keep those explosives for uh, the finale. Damn. Oh, we might not even need to do that, but we'll, we'll have them. Okay, we're good there. Let's go. Now we're headed up. We're going to try to head up Fairfield across the bridge and then go over to... Um, let's get rid of this enclave, or this outpost. Come on, I, cl I literally clicked. Uh, then come across... Yeah, come, ac come across the bridge to... Um, Fairfield, clear out these hearts, then go... Um, east to Spencer's Mill, then up to Tanner, uh, Lake Mount Tanner, whatever it's called. Um, and then... Um... Whoa, like oh, excuse me. Okay, no zombies, or sorry, no heart specifically right here. I thought there might be one right along that path, but I guess not. Um... And then once we do Mount Tanner, then it's just kind of clean up through the center of the map, and we're done. Uh, this heart is actually a free heart, uh, which I will do in the, Actually, I'm not going to do in the freeway. Uh, you can park your car right there, but actually with Tressie, I want to do things differently. I think this other strategy is better, because um, I would have to pull away with zombies on my hood anyway, so let's I just... I think Plague Heart, this might just clear up. This hopefully Tressie. No. And one thing I forgot to do while I was home was grab extra plague cures. I'm actually gonna run down now. Which is a little weird, actually, but maybe I think I think it's overall a good strategy. No, stay against the heart, please. That's one thing that can happen with this dodge canceling animation canceling strat is that um, the dodge will like send you back a little bit, which is annoying. Chrissy is doing a good job taking care of that barrel, so I don't even have to shoot it. Now we're gonna run up the hill, away from that barrel, so the barrel doesn't even have a chance to tackle me. He's still down there. Uh, back up to this... I do need to just be aware that if I get plagued, I need to kill the, this heart before um, I can climb an outpost anywhere nearby, so... Darn it, I was hoping I could... Yeah, there we go. Okay, I was hoping I could kill that without using another uh, stamina item, which I was able to do. Oh, uh, well, I'm gonna... Drive this way, hopefully despawn a lot of the zombies. If I drive... If you drive about 75 meters away from zombies, they despawn. Place is... I don't know exactly... Wow. I want an outpost there, now. 
how far that is, but it looks like it despawned most of the zombies. Tracy's on the ground by herself. But that works out. Uh, let's grab some fuel while there's no zombies around, and for some some gas. There was no zombies around, and fill this up. Nothing more to kill here. Uh, take that. Take that. Uh, don't need any of the other things. We might as well heal while we're right here. I'm, while I'm down there, I think I will claim that as an outpost just so I can grab the cures very easily. Oh, there's a feral right here. Oh, I don't know who just shot that, but sure. I mean, I did shoot, but it was not me who killed the... Feral. Uh, oh, I didn't grab a big backpack ever. Um, so throw all this junk in there. Don't need that. Definitely take healing. Uh, like, meds, I mean. Um, but I think I need all this stuff. Yeah, let's... Just doing a... Oh, the, literally the reason why I'm here... Um... Okay, we only have enough for two... Cures right now, but we need to just keep grabbing, um... We need to keep grabbing... Med outposts, sorry, med rucksacks as I find them. That worked out nicely, uh, so that we can keep making more cures. Hopefully we don't need, obviously, too many more than what I have here, but... Uh, like, obviously, mistakes happen, I'm, all, I'm almost... Swipe, in, in, like, in one swipe to plague range. Um, okay, so let's come in here. Looks like there's not another plague heart, uh, like in this section of town, but there might be one, so we need to check that. I think I'm good. Let's use one of these. Getting low on that. And then hopefully Tressy will take care of everything uh, while I kill this heart. Now there is a free 9mm submachine gun. Um, in the dentist's office. Uh, I don't think I need that. But, you could grab the scorpion. I think it's the scorpion if you need it. So I'm using this door to knock down the zombies, uh, so that I can quickly just execute them. Jeez, how many zombies are gonna come through here? A bloater! I need to work on the heart here. I'm gonna run out of my stamina drink here for too long. It does last 90 seconds, which is generally way more than enough time. Definitely want those, that, that, and we can... Okay, we can't grab anything else. Oh, it's like a bloater blew up near my car. Uh, we're still infected, so it does look like there's another heart in this area. So we're gonna need to head south and be careful about that. Can I get in my car without getting plagued? I think I can. That, that is actually farther ahead than I, at, for, at a little bit of a glance it looked like the cloud was like right on me but it actually was a little bit farther away can I get through here without too much trouble yeah here's the heart here's a heart um yeah I'm just gonna go in hopefully Tressie's near enough that uh He's able to be a distraction. Why are you? What do you? What does? What is that move? What is that move? Could you wait a second? 
No, she's just getting close enough now. So what I'm gonna try to do is throw some fire here. It might get some zombies to run into the heart, as I said a little bit earlier. If a zombie runs into a heart while the heart is not on fire itself, then it will actually do massive damage to the heart. Um, it is... What the heck? It is actually pretty hard, at least for me, to get the zombies to reliably run into the heart. Um, but that is definitely, like, you can wipe out a heart from, not, or from like, full very, very quickly with, with the technique. So, it is something I should practice. Or try to, fi try to figure out the specifics of... Oh, there's still a heart nearby here. Okay, but it's probably... No, it's... I think I know maybe where it is. Uh, let's pick up Tressie, though. Wherever Tressie is. Is she in here? No, she's not. Okay, we're gonna drive over to... Okay, this isn't a heart. I unfortunately think I know where the heart is, but it's in a crappy spot. Please get in quickly. Please get in quickly. There's a bloater right in front of us. <laughs> oh, hey, Dark Tones. Uh, one second. What new strats are you using? So, um, the animation canceling of the heavy weapon is the big one. What is, what is my car doing right now? <laughs> the animation canceling uh, to swing... I don't know if it's half... I, maybe twice as fast, slightly less than twice as fast. Um, also using fire, so Fall Down figured out that if you use, uh, fire, uh, oh, I'm wrong, this isn't a heart. Oh, I wasted so much time driving up here. Shoot. Um, if you use fire on zombies, then zombie, zombies are on fire. What am I doing? I cannot drive. If zombies are on fire and they run into a play cart that is not on fire, then the plague zombies actually do massive damage to the heart. It's a little weird. Doesn't make a ton of sense, but it will wipe out a heart so quickly if you can do it. Um, but it is tricky. I, I cannot do it consistently. Um, okay, we'll just hold this. So this is a pretty easy heart. Actually, let's scout here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I paused there because I was assuming to press, I was just pre uh, pressing escape to exit out of the, um, uh, like the search window. But I thought there was going to be a rucksack of fuel in there which would give me, um, a can of gas, uh, and a, uh, couple Molotovs. Oh! God, I'm tired. Please get away from me, Feral. Go after Tressie. She's much cuter than me. And much more tasty. It's hurting. Don't let up now. Look. Don't go after me. <laughs> that Feral at the door was like, oh no, I'm gonna get plagued. I do have two plague cures on me, so I should be good. I get plagued. I don't want to waste another. Uh, thing right there. Uh, heal while we're here, and we should be good. Let's go. Tressie, you're amazing. Thank you, Feral, for going after Tressie. Oh, there's a bloater somewhere nearby. We should be able to get out of here in time. It looks like this whole area is clear, so we just need to pick up Tressie, because we are leaving town. 13 hearts dead. Okay, I have been accurately tracking... Come on, Tressie. I have been accurately tracking how uh, many hearts I've killed, so the, the heart kill count should be correct. Please, Tressie. Please, Tressie, you're right next to the car. Thank you.
Yeah, so now we're headed up to um, Spencer's Mill, which is kind of the north central ish town on the map. Um, and there will probably be a couple hearts there. I have two plague cures. If needed, I can drive home. I have. Um, I passed what I was where I was supposed to turn off. What the heck? I've, if I need to, I can stop by home and um, pick up a couple. Uh, or deposit a couple more meds. Yeah, I'm out of meds, so I can't make any more plague cures until I go home with the rucksacks I have. That's not a huge deal. Two plague cures should be enough to give me uh, quite a ways. Um, but... Yeah, maybe I should have actually just gone home right there. I don't think I need to. Uh, I already have my leader leveled up. Oh, shoot. I already have my level, uh, leader heroed out, so I don't need... If, like, if this character gets plagued three times, it'll be okay. I can switch characters and just let her die. So it should be good. But maybe in the future that's a point to think about, that I sh could stop by home after taking out Marshall to drop off some gear. Okay, heart right here. Uh, let's just park here. What a wonderful smell we've discovered. Oh, let's get our stamina back. I'm gonna run in here really quick, try to lure some zombies outside, especially with the noise. Oh, that was a feral. Hopefully the feral will stick on Tressie. Oh, I got caught by that shoot. I was hoping I could get through that door in time, but, you know, evidently not. Let's see if I can lead her around the house a little bit so she's not right next to the heart anymore. Seems to be working. Although the zombies are coming after me now. Just jump out the window. Okay, good. Uh, but, ooh, excuse me. I might come back and loot that in a little bit, but right now we have the items for uh, immediate killing of the next heart. So it looks like it's down here on the right. A lot of bloaters, holy crap, and screamers and feral. Where's the feral? We want to kill that with our car. Okay, it wants to jump on the back. I figured it was going to want to jump on the or front or the side, so I was trying to line up for that. But doesn't seem to be an issue. Okay, so we're gonna park here. If we could get one of the, um... Could you wait a second? If we could get one of the, uh... Bloaters to come up next to the heart, we could deal the heart massive damage with the bloater. And I'm stuck on the heart. Please just get out of it. Hopefully we can just come right back in because the first part is actually pretty short. I think I'm out of stamina items, so this might be a little not perfect. Oh, there's a bloater. Okay, I am in fact. Oh, the heart died. Okay. I'm trying to use my plug gear, please use it. How many times do I need to press it? Please use it. <laughs> Sometimes you have to be mad at your game in order for it to work. Okay, I'm gonna drive away. Come down here and loot this house. Course, oh, I thought that I thought this was right here. Um, I think I have a first aid Location kit. Secure, guys. Yes, I do. You can thank me later. So we're gonna use that. Pop that in. Pop that in. Um. Okay, let's just see what we have over here that we can grab, 
and then we'll uh, see what we need out of the supply locker. Could you wait a second? So if we need, if we have any stamina items in the in the locker, we will want those. We at the moment do not have very many. Uh, we have very little stamina items, unfortunately. Uh, we should be able to go up the street to get those stamina items. Uh, what do I not want? I think I kind of want everything here. I, I guess I don't need the, that healing. Uh, I want all of that. Actually, we can drop that in there. Um, but hopefully all these zombies will despawn by the time I get back up there, so I should be able to loot that okay. And it looks like there's a heart maybe at the gas station, just based on the radius. Um, now that's heavy. Oh, some stamina items. Okay, uh, I'll grab the healing. It's never bad to have some healing when I have some space for it. Okay, uh, up here... It might... Let's just make sure we get all these places scouted, but it should be somewhere cl closer here. Maybe it's the house here? No, it looks like it is gonna be. Yeah, it is gonna be... It's right here, so we'll sit here. From it. Oh, speaking of, maybe there's something good here we can check on. Two first aid kits. Okay, uh, dropping those. Definitely want two first aid kits, if not for this character, but for the trader finale. You know, keep my leader. It's hurting. Don't let up now. I'll keep my leader in good health. No, stay away from me, actually. I, oh no, I could have sworn... I could have sworn I'd waited long enough. Just hit the heart. Just hit the heart. Thank you. Parking in front of that window, of course. Let me just jump right on out. It looks like this town is clear and that she got in. Did she? Yes, she did. So we can go on up to the next place. 16 hearts, and that's my, um... That's my, uh... Split as well. Sorry, I'm... My adrenaline is... God, I am spiking so throughout. That's one of the me. things that you need to work on with <laughs> speedruns, is just... Staying calm the whole time, which is hard for... A difficult run like this. Or any run. Like, even if it's easy, you still want to focus and do well, and so hey, you just kind of... Where are my stamina here? items? Calm down, Nikki. They might be able to help us. Please so hit the zombies. Nikki will behave himself, I promise. I was hoping they would run into the heart, even just by accident. Does not seem like they did. Oh, there's a feral. Let's try to lead it outside to to the lady, our lady friend. I don't know what happened to the feral. Oh, it's right there. It never went outside. Please heal. Unfortunately, wasting my stamina item here. Hopefully, that will distract them all long enough. Okay, scratch one play card. 
Okay, if I can get in my car, we can drive away and come back. Um, how are my stamina items doing? Yeah, I'm doing pretty poorly on stamina items. Let's do the flip over technique and then we're gonna drive. <laughs> Not a real technique. Okay, then we're going to drive just up here a little bit. Again, it's about 75 meters. Um, and then we can come back. Whoa, excuse me. And the zombies, including the pharaoh, will hopefully have despawned. If, if the pharaoh is still here, we just run it over pretty easily, but... Um, let's take this, take this, take this. Throw those in there. Refuel while she takes care of the zombies. He's actually good at taking care of zombies. Um... It's just no one is... <laughs> No one is good at taking care of a whole horde of zombies. Don't run over here, though, please. Step one. Find a place full of cool stuff. Uh, good stamina items. Great. And a key. Oh, my gosh. Okay, good stuff. Actually, let's see. Might as well heal. We're right here. Might as well heal. Um. Oh, I can't. I can't put it in the trunk. Okay, so they're... Whoops. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Uh, I kept pressing Q instead of escape. Or... I think it was escape that I was going for. Uh, we do need to. I think we do need to run up here to cancel this mission from Doctor Hoffman. I think it'll interfere with. Uh, oh, there's not even another heart here. Okay, I, I do think it'll interfere with legacy mission spawning. Not a hundred percent on that, but I don't want to lose a run because that I'll have to. I'll probably just test it on like green zone at some point. Um. Usually there's like three hearts up near Mount Tanner, uh, over there, so the fact that there was only one means that there might be some hidden hearts around the map, which can make it a little bit tricky, uh, for taking care of them. Um, but I should know all the spots that they spawn. You know, should. Uh, so we'll see. I still have that one plague here left, and we have, we just got the three stimulants, which is enough for three hearts, so we should be... More than good, and we can Dr. refuse this mission. We couldn't trust them. But we have to actually confirm it with has her. Massive implications for continued human survival. Please reconsider. We don't care about human survival. We care about speed running this specific map. So we'll cancel that. Did that stick? Yes, I did stick. Okay. Uh, she can get in. Perfect. And we will drive on back down. That's 17 hearts. We are making pretty great time, I think. Considering I... This is my second day back to speedrunning in, like, six months or something. Um, I am in, I'm pretty happy with how things are going, but... As with yesterday's runs, things can end very quickly uh, in a bad way. <laughs> so the first kind of hidden heart that we need to look for is... Uh, off to the left between the two um, gun stores here, uh, there's like a little path. Actually, we don't. Yeah, we can go right here, I think. Um, and there's just a heart. There's just like, like a house over here, basically by itself. Um, although there's no plague territory yet, so this probably is not a heart. Let's just check this. Not a heart. Not a heart. Okay. So that's a little weird, so we want to head south now. Um, and we need to check up by the Wilkerson's. That's another place that kind of sneaky hearts can be. Um, it's better, I think, layout of heart-wise if there's not a heart at the Wilkerson's, but of course I don't get to choose that. <laughs> it's random when you spawn, but... And I'm going some weird way. What am... Don't flip over, please, car. Am I in the right place? Yes, I am. Okay. I got so turned around there. <laughs> am I even headed towards the Wilkerson's right now? Um. Yeah, Plague Cloud. There's definitely a Plague Heart. At least one Plague Heart up here. Probably at the second house. That's often where it is. Not that house. Not Reba's house, but this next house here. Uh, so let's... Yep, there's a heart here. 
And once we kill this heart, we'll be able to see if there's another heart up here. I don't know if that's actually possible if there's for there to be two hearts up here, but... My, wherever I parked is, like, doing an incredible job... What is going on with my text? Wherever I parked is doing an incredible job with the, the lights, though. That is for sure. Oh, there's a feral right there. I didn't realize that was a feral. Attack the heart! Thank you. So we're gonna try to lure her out front, so she'll be away from the heart, and the feral will be away from the heart. If you crouch, your follower tries to get to you as quickly as possible, it generally ignores things, so by crouching, hopefully I pulled her a little bit towards me. Uh, hey, Quincy! Uh, that's a familiar- yeah, I just learned it from Arvid's video. Uh, you- as you hit, you, um, tap dodge, then you tap crouch, and then you can attack again right away. It's very fast. And welcome to the stream, Quincy. Nice to have you. Thanks for stopping by. How are you doing tonight? I'm not gonna loot that heart yet. Probably ever. Because I just have the items. Um... Come on. Turn. You're the narrator! <laughs> you did so well. That video was so good. Uh, nice work on that, on your part of it. Um, you, yeah, that was a very good video. I He had uh, shown off that technique. Arvid had shown off that technique. Where is she? Um, in, like, the previous video, but he hadn't even, like, mentioned it, really. He just, like, he was just, like, killing a heart to kill a heart or something. A clip of killing a heart. And I was like, what the heck? How is he doing that? Um, yeah, his stuff is fantastic. Um, and I was like, huh, I should ask him about that. And then I just hadn't asked him about it yet, and then he puts out a video that... Uh, says exactly how to do it. Uh, I'm in plague territory right now. Uh, maybe one of these... Oh my gosh, I cannot drive right now. Am I in plague territory? I thought I was, but there's a lot of regular zombies for plague territory. Ooh, this is... Okay. Oh, we can keep driving up the road. Yeah, this technique is really good. I showed it to fall down as well, so hopefully he starts doing it as well. It's it eats up your stamina like mad. <laughs> but if you have uh, an energy drink um, or stimulants, it just erases heart so well. Uh, and I have Tressy here following me around. She's very kindly... Whoops, not the right place. She's very kindly... Um, my Offered to be my bodyguard. If you could get away from me, zombie, so I could just hit the heart and ignore you, that would be great. Oh, that's probably true. You, you might not be able to do the... Um, jump out the window. Okay. No, never mind. No jumping out the window. Yeah, if you do the, like, combo button, I, I could see how that wouldn't necessarily work. It's hurting. Don't let up now. Please hit the heart. And one thing about it, it has to be a neutral dodge, so, so sometimes you just kind of attack whatever since you can't... Uh, since you can't choose what you're aiming at very easily. Hey, fall down! I was just talking about you. <laughs> I've been trying to do your fire technique, but I'm really not good at attracting the zombies to the heart. Uh, I've done it a couple times and it just erases the heart when it works, but um, I can't do it consistently. Turn around! I can't do it consistently, unfortunately. Um, more, more of that. Uh, I don't need that. I'm so slow. I'm paralyzed. Okay, whatever. Oh, my car is right here. I'm an idiot. How are you doing, Fault? Oh, that's a bloater that's just sitting next to my car for some reason. I actually have two first aid kits in the trunk, though. So, I should be good on that front.
Um, we'll just run over here, I guess. I should probably take a break before I fall over. Should be clear. Okay, uh, let's heal and go to the next place. Uh, probably a heart back here. Uh, Tressie, please get in. Tressie, please get in. Thank you. Ooh. I love this game, so I felt very low. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do not want to know what makes Plague Territory smell this bad. I am going the wrong way. I can get by over here, though. That should be good. Yeah, for anyone watching later, because I, if I do this run well, I'll link in the description to Arvid's recent video that talks about all this, and Quatarius Quincy was the voiceover, so, um, yeah. He did a really good job on it, and Arvid did a really good job on all the tips. It's just one of the best video, well, one of the best videos probably ever on uh, State of K2. No, don't. Where's that fire? I think that'll hit the heart, but... Oh no, actually... I, I successfully did your trick for like one... Uh, one zombie, I think, ran into that heart, and that was it. Oh gosh, hello. Just please go after her. I, she's much tastier than me. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'll put a link to Arvid's video in the description. Uh, subscribe to him. If you're somehow following me on, if you're watching this video now following him, uh, follow him because he's great. Uh, I probably should have grabbed. Jump out the window. I probably should have grabbed that fake A47, but I don't think I'll need the ammo. Um, probably down here is another heart. Uh, I think it'll be needed in order to inf uh, to claim that place. She got in very nicely. Sometimes Tressie... Where am I going? What am I doing? Sometimes Tressie is very well-mannered and gets in the car and gets out of the car right away. Sometimes not so much. Uh, but today she seems to be doing very well. I think I'm good on everything, so let's just run over, use a stamina item, and, and get to hitting this heart. Is it in the bathroom? Oh, that's a bloater! Why is there a bloater in there? There's just a bloater in the middle of the bathroom. Please. This is where I died yesterday, I think. Uh, I got stuck in that, um, stuck in the window frame as the heart was farting on me, and I just evaporated. I didn't even get plagued. I died so quickly, I didn't even get plagued. <laughs> I just immediately died. Uh, let's see if I can pull her towards the front of the house a little bit, so that, come on, crouch. So that the zombies follow her, she follows me, the zombies follow her, and hopefully I'll be clear. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to use my other first aid kit, I think. Oh, actually, I need to switch characters, so maybe I won't use my other first aid kit. No, just jump out. Jump out of any window. <laughs> jump out of any window, what are you doing? Okay, um... Where is an easy place to claim? Right up the road. Have a good dinner fall. Uh, if you're streaming later tonight, hopefully I can send people over to you. That would be nice. Hopefully you're feeling better. I think you were... Yeah, you had like a, a cough or whatever earlier. Is this claimable? No, it's not claimable. What am I doing? Well, I'll just drive right back to the base. Or, sorry, to the heart. Pick up Tressie. I don't think I have Tressie right now. And I can just loot the heart as well. Oh gosh. I drove past Tressie. Could you wait a 
Wait a second. There's just a feral horde. Or, a horde with a feral at least here. Okay. This car is about to get torched, unfortunately. Tressie's in here now, right? No, she's not. Why is she not in here? Tressie. Okay, I need to switch characters. I was gonna switch... Probably should've just gone to the army tent to begin with. That was my first thought, but then I was like, no, that's the other way. Um... Yeah, now I'm getting down to another Plague Heart shoot. Okay, it's probably up... It could be up here. Oh, in fact, it is right here. Uh, so let's just get out, and I guess we'll do this heart right now. Uh, we can claim this as an outpost afterwards, so that'll be good. But I have to be very careful of this heart. Because I do not want to waste my plague cure on someone I'm about to uh, switch off of. Oh, shoot. Luckily, I did. I was holding us extra. Hopefully, that fire works well. I think it was not touching the heart. It seems like it, none of the zombies ran towards the heart. It did feel like I torched a good number of zombies, though. What is going on? Did I not equal? That was weird. I don't... I don't know what was going on there. I could not see precisely what happened. It was like I was kicking the heart there or something. I don't know what the, what was happening. Or why none of these zombies are on Tressie. That's also another question that I have. Please dodge, because I need to get away. No, that place is infected, or claimed, or whatever, so I can't... Yeah, the... It was such a big change to everything, that curveballs definitely messed with some stuff. I'm gonna just drive away for right now. Um, and I'm gonna claim this, actually, if I can. I cannot claim this! Okay, well, I'm right here. I'm gonna refuel, at least. I do not want to use my first aid kit or my cure on this character. <laughs> I want to switch off. That would be optimal if I could switch off. Um... But... Come on, get rid of it. But I cannot. Gunk zombies especially seem to be... Re oh, yeah, the gunk zombies. I saw... Was it... Magic Man, you, you were probably there for that. Magic Man having so many issues with zombies, or with, with AI, or maybe it wasn't Magic Man, someone, someone I don't know who, was just having so many troubles with uh, AI, just like not caring about the, the fact that they were exploding. Come on, what are you doing? You're just like standing still. Looks like I'm going to have to kill another heart, so let's come down here. It's like a bald albino zombie, what the heck? It keeps telling me that stuff is broken down, but nothing is bro actually broken down yet. Okay. Um, can I get down here? I can get down here. I think there's a heart at this house. Um, if I can get to the house... ...without running through every zombie, that would have been nice. Okay, so hopefully I, this is... I can kill this heart with my very limited <laughs> stamina. Almost out. Um, oh, this is... Oh, don't hit me. This is an easier heart. Zombies have trouble getting through this door. If you're standing r right next to the heart, they have trouble pathing to you sometimes. Um... Also, just that bathroom, and with Tressy, hopefully we'll have enough cover that the fact that I have zero stamina is fine. I have zero, but also infinite stamina. It's hurting. Don't let up now. 
Do I have a little bit of fire? I have a little bit of fire left. Okay, so let's... Could you wait a second? Try to lure... Place looks empty. ...them over here. We can try to fire some zombies. Fire her. Fire everyone if we can. Eh, yeah, whatever. We can at least finish off the heart. Uh, she is unkillable, so... Oh gosh. So the fact that she's screaming right now is fine. I mean, it, obviously it seems worrisome, but it, it is not. Uh, we have five hearts left, looks like. Yeah. No, close the door. Close the door. And now I can't claim the outpost because there's a zombie. I should have claimed the outpost and then closed the door. Oh my gosh, too many pop-ups. Where is my mouse? Uh, switch to Darius, Darius. The Darius, Dar Darius, I don't know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to turn Quintarius Quincy into the Darius Darcy or something, I don't know. Um, we, we need, oh my gosh, can you just give me a second, guys? Okay, we'll loot the heart first, I guess. <laughs> Uh, okay, backpack, first aid kit, good. Stamina, that's fine. Um, okay. Excuse me. What was that running tackle? I'm gonna have to just get in my car and drive. There, I killed all your- now you're just gonna close the door again? What are you doing? What is going on here? Oh, there's so many zombies in here. That's what's going on. Shoot. And I got out of my car when I didn't need to. Wasting so much time here, but... I don't know. Uh, oh, throw that in there. Uh, where's gas? Do I not have any gas? I don't have any gas, so I actually need to do something about that. I need uh, that, we need that, and we need a heavy weapon. Uh, that's fine, we need a heavy weapon. Okay, we'll use this one. Oh, we don't actually need gas, we need a repair kit. That's what we needed. I thought we needed both. <laughs> we are wasting a little bit of time here, but... We should be wrapping things up. Two of these hearts are trivially easy. Uh, there's a heart right up here. There's um, two hearts in the middle. The heart right there. There's probably a heart. I don't know how to describe it, but kind of southwest of the middle, in the southwestern right section here. of the middle. And then maybe on the west. Oh, I didn't. Darn it, I did not grab my cure. I see a big cluster of Zeds, not far off. Um That was a mistake. That was the last one. Got Please go after not me. Oh, that's not even the right room. Just keep going after her, it looks like you are. That pharaoh's a little annoying. A little... She's on the front with the pharaoh, okay. Good, that's exactly where I want her. No, whoa! Jump outside, don't get hit 50 times. Oh, that worked! Just like that, it's history. Oh yeah, that means we'll see a lot less plague zombies around here. Take the headshot! Okay, as long as the zombies stay on her... 
I can loot this heart a little bit. If I can get some good stimulants, that'll be great. Uh, good stimulant, decent stimulants, not the best, but... Uh, I'm just gonna risk not... Yeah, this is a heart. I don't need her, actually, for this part. Uh, this is a free heart, actually. Let's go for this one first. So I don't have to drive back to east. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't need her, so I just can let her run to me slowly. The key is to not suck driving in here, and then you can make this a free heart. Yeah. You just park like that, and now it's 100% free. Almost empty on that. Crouching regains your stamina a little bit faster. Man, this is heavy. Saving this other um, snack for the last segment, which is a little bit longer for whatever reason. It's not exactly one third, one third, one third for the three segments of the heart. Uh, it's closer. Actually, I don't, I don't know what percentage is, but it's just longer for the first and the third segment than the. The second segment is just a little bit shorter. Okay, repair kit. That's actually decent because it gives me a good... Um... A, a advanced suppressor. Although I have a handmade suppressor right now, so it's not like I'm in desperate need of it or something. But early, early on, it is not bad to uh, find one of those. Hello, Juggernaut. Please... Just stay away. <laughs> and again, you can pull in very easily and have another free heart. Uh, might as well search this, I guess. Yep, that's not good. Oh, uh, not bad. If my I don't think I'm going to run out of heavy weapon, but... Fuck yeah, it's hurting. Don't let um, I might as well search. I might as well, just might as well hold it. Most of the time I'm sitting with uh, infinite stamina, so being heavy weighted or, or light weighted doesn't matter. The cool thing about the animation, well, what I was going to say, the cool thing about the animation canceling is it even helps um, significantly when you're out of stamina because you don't have to do the whole backswing. Did I split there? I think I did. Please get in. Thank you. So we should have two more hearts. Whoops, excuse me. And I think there might be one over here. We need to at least check this area for uh, plague territory. It is playing turret, so it's probably the house down the hill. At least as quiet as it can get this close to a Which is fine. I mean, it would have been better if it was right there, so I could have just done it, but uh, it's not too tricky to find the heart. And the last part is probably right there, is my guess. Or in, in one of those spots, not necessarily exactly where I clicked. I didn't realize I had so many stamina items left. Okay, I'll be using these. I was... I thought I was basically out, so that's why I've been using the snacks, so that I could... conserve. Dude, you're shooting the heart. I'm the one distracting while she, while she damages the heart. Come on, get out here. in a great position to block for me. Okay, we're just gonna leave. We're not even gonna bother trying to scavenge that. We can do that later. It should just be one heart left. 
We do need her to come with us, though. We would at least prefer it. Okay, so I need to drive away and come back, because it's going to take several seconds for her to get up anyway. She just fell over again, you goof. That's something I didn't realize, that if they are if they fall over and you drive away, then they'll re-fall over when you come back over. Or when you get back in the area. Okay, uh, we do need to keep track of kind of the area. You know what I can do is just hey, do locate play card. I don't need my uh, influence, so this will just direct me directly to the heart. Roger Assuming that. it spawns Red somewhat quickly. Is this really the last plague heart in town? It, I mean, this is the, this. It's the house here, so it didn't spawn quickly enough. I, I already could tell which heart it was gonna be. Um. I can do this. I can do this. Can't do it. No, 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 no. What is going on here? Just grab the zombie. That was very strange. Jump out, please. I have a little bit of fire. I'm gonna try lighting some of these zombies on fire so I maybe get an easy kill with this heart. But fall down's trick. Well, I, I did not perform fall down's trick correctly. That's. I was gonna say it's slightly different, but it, it is on me, it's not on the trick. The, the trick is incredibly powerful. It is fully on me for getting the zombies to run into the heart. Not on the game for. or on the trick. Oh, shoot. Nice. 126 for all hearts dead, not bad. Unfortunately, I could never get any of the legacy missions to spawn, so we have to end things here. I went back home, I cancelled every mission I could, I restarted the game multiple times, exiled the rest of the members of my community, everything I could think of. Unfortunately, the legacy missions never spawned. I waited at least, like, 25 minutes, and at that point I just decided to just start another run. Um... Unfortunately, I, I died on that one. <laughs> on that run, I died. So, uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video, or maybe I'll see you in chat on Twitch. Uh, thank you all for your support, and have a good night.